Venezuelan President Nicolás Maduro was re-elected and will run the country for six more years. Maduro promised the people he will prior prioritize Venezuela's economy and socioeconomic development during his new term. Surrounded by his supporters at Miraflores Palace, the president also called for a lasting dialogue with the opposition parties. He asked all Venezuelans to leave any conflict behind and make way for reconciliation with all sectors of the country. I call for a lasting dialogue process with all political, economic, social and cultural groups of Venezuela. Reunion, reconciliation and permanent dialogue is what Venezuela needs. I believe in a new era for Venezuela. I believe in a new beginning. I believe in peace as the foundation for national harmony. But most of all, I believe in national harmony as a foundation to reach agreements and move forward together towards a better path, one of definitive improvement, one that brings solutions to the economic problems brought by the war against the people. This will be hard. This might not happen overnight, but we will make it. The elected president further thanked the Venezuelan people for their support. He also congratulated the National Electoral Council and celebrated the participation of international observers during Sunday's election. Some 150 international observers from 30 countries and international organizations were in Venezuela for the voting day. It's incredible how our people never back down, how our people never surrender, how our people always have a smile during the hardest battles. That's why I thank you all. I can say that today we made history. We had a great victory, a victory of the people. The USA Lucena, president of the National Electoral Council, announced the official results once the vote count showed an irreversible trend with 92% of the ballots processed. President Maduro took, took 5.8 million votes, while his closest rival, former Governor Henry Falcón, got 1.8 million votes. Javier Bertucci followed with 925,000 votes, and finally Reynaldo Quijada with 34,614 votes. Lucena said about 8.6 million Venezuelans voted out of an electoral registry of 20.5 million people.